so comes the sensation, you see. So characteristic of Western man and indeed of all highly civilized people. Of being a stranger in the earth. A momentary flash of consciousness between two eternal blacknesses. And so therefore we speak of confronting reality, facing the facts. We speak of coming into this world. And this whole sensation that we are brought up to have of being an island of consciousness locked up in a bag of skin, facing outside us a world that is profoundly alien to us in the sense that what is outside me is not me. This sets up a fundamental sensation of hostility and estrangement between ourselves and the so-called external world. We are ignorant of, we ignore, it doesn't come within the scope of our attention how it is that we manage to be conscious, how it is that we manage to grow our hair, to shape our bones, to beat our heart, and to secrete all the necessary fluids that we need from our glands. We do it, but we don't know how we do it. Because, you see, underneath the superficial self, which pays attention to this and that, there is another self, more really us than I. And if you become aware of that unknown self, the more you become aware of it, the more you realize that it is inseparably connected with everything else that there is. That you are a function of this total galaxy bounded by the Milky Way and that furthermore this galaxy is a function of all other galaxies. And that vast thing that you see far off, far off, far off with telescopes and you look and look and look, one day you're going to wake up and say, why, that's me. And in knowing that, know, you see, that you'll never die.